low pressure on valent boiler, glow worm boiler, your ultra comms, flexi comms. What else is there? Ecotech Pro. Ecotech Pro. I'm going to show you how to top the pressure up. My name's Alan Hart, and today I'm going to show you how to top the pressure up on your uh, valent and glow worm boiler. Valent and glow worm boiler. So underneath the boiler, you've got two taps. Yeah. And they're both closed when they're in this position. To open it, you turn it quarter of a turn, like that. And then the other one, you turn slowly. And you'll hear it fill. As it fills, the pressure gauge will rise. And you want to take that to approximately 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 bar. As it is now. And then close it back off again. And then close the other one off as well. There you go. So just to explain what's happening here. This is the pipe on the right hand side. Underneath the boiler. And this tap is now closed. And when you open this pipe, it's allowing cold water to go around the flexi pipe at the back. So if you see that silver flexi pipe at the back. So now you've got your cold water from your cold water mains. It's going round that pipe at the back. And then it's going over towards this tap here. And this tap is now closed. But when you open it, you're allowing the pressure to go into the central heating part of the system and then what that will do it will ta it will put the pressure up on the system sorry about the poor quality in there it was it was quite awkward to show you but what you're trying to do and this is the same for almost all combi boilers and and always read the installation instructions if you've got them available um, but normally you want it to top the pressure up to around one bar or just over one bar maybe 1.1 1.2 depending on the boiler some of the air tag boilers they need to be about 1.4 um, but as i say you need to read the installation instructions for them um, but what you're trying to do you're trying to get your so inside the boiler the boiler has a it has a pressure sensor and that's to protect the boiler some boilers don't have them so for instance your worcester's they don't have a pressure sensor and your Wiesman boilers they don't have a pressure sensor either and there's probably other boilers as well but most combi boilers have a pressure sensor and what that does that's to protect the boiler and what you're trying to do is if if say for instance you've got a little bit of a you might have a little bit of a weep on a on a trv top it it might leak a little bit of water out or you might have bled a radiator and as you bled the radiator it's allowed the pressure to go down or it might just be just normal evaporation in the system and the boilers have built in auto air vent so it could be that it could just be that you know naturally so it's not normally it's nothing to worry about if you was doing it if you had to do it every day then obviously you might have an issue and and you're going to be you know it's going to be better if you got a plumber or somebody to come out and and have a look at the system um, to make sure it's all okay for you but but generally what you're trying to do you've got your cold water mains so your mains pressure you're opening the taps underneath and you're getting the pressure from your mains through the boiler and into the central heating system and that puts the pressure up you've got to be really really careful you don't put too much pressure in because if you put too much pressure in and, and I've, I've done a video on too much pressure and how to get the pressure back out again so if you if you have put too much pressure in then it might be worthwhile having a look and searching for that video um, as well and it shows you how to take the pressure back down um, but um, one thing as well just maybe to point out in this video is if your pressure is um, if it's going down a lot and you're topping it up to one and it works and then you go and next day it's gone down again then it could be that there's a few things it could be it could be that the boiler needs servicing and it could be that the expansion vessel inside the boiler has lost its charge uh, and that's something to check and also the prv so it could be dripping outside on the prv so again that's something to check but usually this this is a time then when 
you really need to be looking at getting your boiler serviced and somebody that's going to come along strip it down drain the boiler down take the water out of the boiler and repressurize the expansion vessel uh, you know do a good job for you and maintain the boiler so what a lot of people do is they'll buy a new boiler and then some people get them serviced and get them looked after but some people don't bother and then I mean, you wouldn't buy, you wouldn't go buy a £100,000 Mercedes and then put old engine oil in it. So what I'm trying to say to that is, when you, each year, have it serviced, have it maintained and have it looked after. And a lot of the time you won't need to start doing this, pressurising it up and stuff like that because your service engineer will do it. So yeah, I'm, rant, I'm ranting on a little bit now. Um, I hope this video... Um, has been of some use to you if you do have any questions about topping up the pressure on your boiler then please add a comment below um, if you could like and share um, I'd appreciate that as well it just helps with with my channel and with my videos um, so yeah I'd be really grateful for that and thank you very much thanks for watching